those watching us from Uganda's capital city, Kampala, and around the world, you are watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inaseje. Let us start the bulletin from Lira District. Now, bailiffs have demolished a warehouse in Lira Town in execution of a court order to create space for an access road. The demolition also affected oil mill and maize mill operated by Pakistan businessmen. Now, following a protracted court battle between Detroit Development, uh, Development Limited, the plaintiff, and Walter Osako, the defendant. Lira High Court Judge Justice Winfrey Navisinda found out that the contested plot was flagrantly acquired. Now, in a court order dated October 1st, 2018, signed by the Deputy Registrar of the High Court, the bailiff was commanded to demolish or remove any building or perimeter wall blocking the access road connecting Kwania Road through Nikion close to Maruzi Road. Lydia Poko, the wife of the late Felix Odu, who was the director of Detroit Development Limited, said they were not informed in time about the demolition. Moving on to Buyukwe District, now 23-year-old Scovia Amoti, a resident of Butema in Tenjeru District, got labor pains at 2 a.m. Her husband, who is a fisherman, was far away on the island. Now nobody was there to support her, meaning her only option was to go to a tradition bath attendant. While Uganda celebrated 56 years of independence last week, women in Butemba are not about to celebrate health care independence as accessing the much needed health services is still a nightmare. Now women, especially pregnant mothers in this area, have to travel long distances to access antenatal care at the nearest healthy facility. Many mothers have resorted to giving birth while, with the help of traditional birth attendants as they cannot afford transport costs to the nearest healthy facility. Amoto says she had no choice since her husband was away and she did not have enough money to hire a border border to the health facility which is about six kilometers away. Her case is not different from many young women in the area. It is against this background that St. John Ambulance came up with a project of helping expectant mothers access health care. As we continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country, let us take a break and look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Our headlining story is Musisi resigns as KCCA boss, cites lack of adequate political support. We have the story on page 7 inside the New Vision. Now, military takes over distribution of exams. The senior four students uh, started the examinations yesterday, so get to know whatever happened in different regions across the country inside today's copy of the New Vision. Now, our front picture is of the president, Yori Kaguta Museveni, and the two uh, American entertainment stars who are Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. I see the president uh, being given white uh, sneakers, and Kim Kardashian is right here. Are putting her autograph get to know what happened yesterday during their meeting inside the new vision we also see commission has no cash that is land probe and then doctors warn of c-section pandem uh, pandemic in Bududa no water for survivors that is a story we should look out for now the new vision has more stories let me also uh, take you through. We see UBL Vision Group pattern to offer farmers support. Are you a farmer? This is a big catch for you. Then Buikwe mothers decry long distances to health facilities. Okay, a story that you could read when you get your copy of the new vision. Now, uh, as I always tell you every month, we give you a pullout which is called the new era. The new era is it's, it's a partnership between China and Uganda. Now today we see Chinese National Day as a super headline there. Then AC competition, uh, winners bag, winners bags are packed with uh, are packed for trip to China. They will be traveling soon. Those who uh, who participated and won the My China competition. Then embassy hosts the celebrations. Okay. Okay, story is right uh, there. Okay, uh, every Tuesday we have two uh, two pullouts. 
we have the we have her vision and also we have the oil and gas journal now from the oil and gas journal we see how to get your goods certified for oil sector that is uh, something that you should know those who would like to participate in the oil sector that is soon uh, operating then kenya uganda oil communities discuss how to benefit from sector okay those are some of the stories in the pullout there moving on to her vision her vision says ellis luswata braver than breast cancer the story is also in here and then our diagnosis saved my life we have a question here which says how do i write a will for co-owned property mm -hmm. Those of you own property with your wives or husbands, this is something that you should read. It is right here in her vision. More stories you should read inside the new vision and more in those pullouts. But now let us see what is making headlines in the sports docket. We see Go For It as the headline there and Lorenza rallies motorists on Pirelli. Get those stories and many more in the sports docket into this copy of the new vision remember the copy of the new vision is just two thousand shillings and we are proudly the leading daily you're still watching new vision tv news i am roy finas agent as continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country from Masaka district the Masaka district chairperson judy mbabali has halted the eviction of over 200 residents from the sand mining area at nachianja village in buunga sub county now the landlord sulam soke had earlier ordered the affected residents to vacate the wetland within two weeks to pave way for the chinese investors who are goodwill ceramic company to carry out clay mining now mbabali who convened a meeting at nachianja at the invitation of the residents say the eviction was illegal he noted that the land title acquired for the wetland was illegal babali said he had instructed the district land board to verify how the the land title was allocated in a wetland the investors behind the clay mining activities do not have an environmental impact assessment report clearing them to carry out clay mining activities in the area. A source attached to Goodwill Ceramic Company say they are in the final stages of processing the clearance from National Environment Management Authority, NEMA. The source said some truckloads of clay had already been extracted from the area for testing. Closing off today's bulletin is a story from Karamoja region where the state minister for Karamoja affairs, Moses Chisige, ha Chisige has asked Kral leaders in Karamoja and Trikana to uphold the existing peace so as to boost development. He urged them to ensure children go to school and also vest healthy facilities. Chiz uh, Chizige was speaking as a, chief as a chief guest at the belated 44th anniversary of Lorikiyama Peace Accord celebrations held at Lokiriyama village, Loyema district in Kenya. Now he said the lack of peace had, deni had denied the Trukana and Karmajong the right to education. The minister appealed to the organizers of the, rele of the event to engage children in the future peace celebrations, saying as young men and women, they needed to understand and embrace peace. Chizige added that the government would soon set up a mechanism with Kenya, including local governments, to ensure petty and more thefts are eradicated. He congratulated the Trukana people on being tolerant and committed to peace. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also catch us on our social media platforms. Facebook is The New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. And you can also find me on my Twitter handle, which is Ruthie The Voice. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.